Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Beyond the Mask. In today's video we're going to be discussing Billy Loomis, Stu Marker and Ghostface. Before we begin I just want to ask that if you enjoyed the video please like the video and subscribe as it really helps with the algorithm. Let's dive straight in. Billy Loomis and Stu Marker serve as the original killers from the Scream franchise in its entirety especially Billy Loomis himself, often taking credit for being the original mastermind behind the evil sadistic plot. As we progress into Scream 3, the audience are informed of Roman Bridges involvement in the murder of Maureen Prescott, which actually took place one year prior to the first movie and was also carried out by Billy and Stu as well. It's widely believed amongst fans that Billy and Stu murdered Maureen without the inclusion of the Father Death costume, with Roman stating he didn't anticipate Billy and Stu would go on to create a movie of their own following the death of Maureen. There's always been an aspect of this story that has intrigued me. That is, why did Billy and Stu specifically choose the Father Death costume? What was significant about that specific costume? This may seem like a somewhat pointless question, however, the original events of the story actually show that the famous Ghostface costume was worn for a specific reason, a reason often overlooked by fans and the writers who pen the scripts for the later entries. Let's assume for the moment that Billy and Stu didn't wear the Feather Death costume during the murder of Maureen. It made little sense to them, Billy intended on framing Cotton Weary for her murder and this specific moment I don't fully believe Billy had become engrossed in his plan nor his thirst for more bloodshed. It's common knowledge that Billy wanted to create his own perfect horror movie with rules, tropes and symbolism all referencing back to horror movies that came before. But this is life. This isn't a movie, said Sydney. Sure it is, Sid. It's all a movie. It's all one great big movie, replied Billy. This is a clear representation of Billy's state of mind. This wasn't reality to him. This was almost a work of fiction. His master plan was to emerge as a survivor of the events and go into a sequel. This dark plan was not in motion when he murdered Maureen and thus explains why he felt little need to wear a costume to carry out that act. In my opinion, there are several reasons why this particular costume was chosen for this killing spree. Firstly, it's a very common fact amongst killer psychologists that serial killers often wear masks during their kills by means of dehumanising themselves. The masks become a character, a blank space that can't be reasoned with or understood. It means Billy was able to become this killer with the ability to hide behind a mask. Secondly, in my opinion, the most important, Billy was creating his own version of a horror movie. He intended on the story becoming exactly what it did, a meta, real life horror movie in the real world. Throughout most of the story, Billy remained completely in control, with his plan ultimately almost being carried out to perfection. His introduced study of horror films would have provided them with one fact. Majority of the iconic faces of horror were all masked. Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Leatherface. This was more than enough evidence that the kills had to be committed whilst wearing a mask. A mask that would stand out and go on to be iconic. Repeating once again, Billy and Stu planned almost everything down to the fine detail, including the Woodsboro Police Department finding the mask. Once the mask was discovered, it quickly became a phenomenon. This explains Stu's overexcitement and glee when one of the teenagers runs down the Woodsboro High corridors and is met with cheers. The mask was becoming famous or infamous. This is exactly what Billy and Stu wanted. Finally, to add to the overall decision to use the mask, the intention was to create this horror story, but Billy and Stu also had the intentions of framing Neil Prescott, Sidney's father, for the crimes committed. 
It's my personal belief the decision to pick the Father Death costume was to draw a link between Neil and the costume itself. It's practically an informative hint to see if the police could figure it out. With all these combined, it's easy to understand why the Father Death mask was so appealing. Later instalments played on the fame and media attention that came with the mask. However, Billy's reasonings for using the mask felt more personal, more direct. He wasn't influenced to use it, he chose to. Whatever truly went through Billy's mind when he came across that particular costume will forever remain a mystery. And that's it for this video. If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, always remember, there's something real about a guy with a knife who just snaps.